Hey everyone, so we're back from the Disney trip. Thought we'd do a quick video on the haul. Yeah. Show everything we got. Wasn't too much, actually. Uh, we were pretty good. Short go trip overboard. and we didn't need too much. So, um, But we did get some things that I think we're both excited about. So we'll show those off. Sure. So all let's right. get started. So the very first thing I'm going to show off is all the free stuff. <laughs> Yay, free. Yeah, I like that. Um, the first thing, well, I mean, this wasn't free, but um, I really liked it. We went to the villain party, so you'll probably see more about that. But um, I wanted to make sure I kept at least one of the maps from that night intact. So. Yep. It was a really good event, and this is a lot thicker than the usual maps they give out, so I thought it was mm. kind of nice. It's like a little card stock. Yeah. Yeah, so I know a lot of people like to collect the maps and things. Uh, I'm not huge collectors. I mean, we have them from our trips, but... Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't have like a box of maps, but sometimes after the trips, we like to keep the, the little keepsakes of those types of events and things. Yeah. yeah. And actually, I'm just now remembering that we never went back and tried to get that sorcerer card. Oh yeah, I don't know if they had a special sorcerer card at the villain party, so. I never heard that they did, but we meant to check. Yeah, if you know, Yeah, let us come. know. All right, All right the so next, next thing, we went to Ohana, and every time you go over there, you get a nice lay, so I keep these. We got a couple of those um, in our box, so. Got one of those. So this is free for anybody who goes to Port Orleans French Quarter. Um, they give you, and it's somewhere around here, they give you this um, paper and they do it seasonally where you can do a scavenger hunt around the property. Mm -hmm. um, some of it's inside and pretty easy to find. Some of it was outside and super hot, very difficult to find. Um, if you need any hints, let me know because I know where all the hard ones are now. And all the cast members <laughs> will, will help you too. They'll right? help too. So you can pick up the sheet in the gift shop. I think there's what, maybe 10 music notes, something like that. It was... 13, it was 13. 13, yeah, so it's, it's uh, they're little music notes. They're about, I don't know, yay big or so, um, hidden in different areas, and, and there's hints on the sheet that say go here, go here. And right, and the music notes have um, different characters or different scenes from movies on it, mm -hmm. so they stand out in different ways. Um, but anyway, when you finish your scavenger hunt, whichever season it is, you get a button. So yeah, you get a button when you finish the scavenger hunt. I was told that they're different for every season. So um, right now they're music notes. Um, in the winter, for example, there are snowflakes that they hide around. Um, they do pumpkins in the fall. And so just different things throughout the year. And it's a different button that you receive every time you finish one. So yeah. I so thought it was nice. Maybe a nice activity if it's raining. Yes. Uh, though you are searching outside, so maybe not, I don't know. But if you don't want to be in the parks when it's raining. Yeah, or if it's like really hot, maybe do it at night. Anyway, it was fun. Um, the next thing, these are in the room. <laughs> yeah, when you stay at Port Orleans, you always get these. Yeah, so they're just beads. It's very Mardi Gras, so there's gold, green, and purple. And when you come in on the table, um, they have these set up and it looks like a little Mickey. So um, we can show a picture at some point, maybe when we go through um, the room or anything like that. So they're just set up like a Mickey and I like to keep that. And then the last thing, it's kind of silly, we went to the arcade and they give you this nice card yep. um, where you fill in the, the money or your points so you can play all the games. And I just thought that was kind of fun to keep. Yeah, so they're refillable cards at the arcade. Um, I put $1 on, which will get you two games of skee-ball and a game of Space Invaders. Yeah, sure. Not a bad deal. First yeah. time we'd ever actually played at the arcade and the, and the card is kind of neat. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and then, I've been working through this bag with all our keepsakes. I just want to point out, at no point in that entire trip were we asked to purchase a bag. Could you purchase them? Yes. But the prices went up, $2 for this size bag, and up from there, we were never asked mm -mm, to nope. purchase one. We even asked at one point, do we need to do that? Like, you don't have to give us a bag? And they said, I don't know how we're going to do it without plastic at this point. Yep. We'll still 
get these. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like they've started phasing out plastic bags at Disney World right. yet. Not yet. Um, I'm not sure what the status is at any of the other Disney parks, but the word on the street is they're going away and certainly at the local Disney store. Right. No, no more plastic bags. So. Which, I mean, I'm fine with having a reusable bag. That's no issue. No issue with that. But I do find it odd that when you're at a store locally, you have to buy one. But when you're in Disney World, and most people are already carrying around bags, so they're kind of maximizing on all that stuff. Mm. I thought it was odd that we didn't mm. have to purchase one. Anyway, so the next thing, um, I look at these pens every single time we go to the parks, and I always want them, um, and I never buy them. I feel like it's kind of expensive for a silly little pen, but I love it. So the first one is um, just this little... So here we've just got the little push pop pin. It's got the Luxo ball. And then down the sides of it are just different Pixar characters all the way around. So I know it's silly, but I look at it every time and I always wanted it. And when I was doing that, <laughs> yeah, just a little quick pin. When I was doing that little scavenger hunt, I just got that. So then I had a pen to write down all my answers. Yeah, this is Walt Disney World at the bottom. Yep. Um, when we got home, the little clicker had stopped working and uh, these pens are not terribly complex so I was able to fix it. If you'd be interested in a video on how to fix your Pixar pen, let me know. I don't know how common of an issue that is, <laughs> but uh, hey, we're back to working. There you go. All right, and then the next couple um, are just really cute little character pens. They have several of these. These were my favorites. So you got Mickey and Pluto with his little ears, and you got Donald, always love Donald. And then down the sides of um, the Donald and the Pluto pins are just some little characters, like Pluto has little paw prints, and Donald has his own little uh, footprints on there. Mickey's is just Mickey, it's got like his pants at the bottom. So we'll show those off. But they have several different characters. I think they're $8 each, but if you buy three, they go down to $6 each. There's a quick look at those. Hmm. Very cool. I like them. I look every time, so I'm excited I finally have them. All right, the next thing, uh, we found this at the Character Warehouse. So. We went to the Character Warehouse on Wednesday, and I heard that they usually restock, so they have all new stuff out on Wednesdays. And I will say, I thought they were fully stocked. There was a ton of stuff there. There was a lot there. Um, and they've changed the layout since the last time we were there mm -hmm. last year. It's actually, I think, a little easier to move around. It was a lot easier to move around. However, we just didn't see a ton there that we wanted. Mm. I don't know if we're, we're going to make it We're kind of picky. Thing. We're kind of picky. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we did like these. They're just post-its. It's Mickey Post-its. And we actually picked up two of those. Um, we think one of them will be really nice for a friend of ours, so we'll take those over to that. So three kind of regular size pads and then the little tabbed editions there at the bottom. Right. Yep, so we got two packs of those, mm -hmm. Character Warehouse. I've already opened ours. Yeah, we, we go to the one on Vineland, at the Vineland Premium Outlets. Yeah. All right, the other thing that we picked up at the Character Warehouse was just an autograph book, and it comes with a pen. And these are always fun. We try to keep one of these going, but we didn't meet too many new characters this time, so we didn't actually get any autographs on this trip. Um, but we have a friend who's going. It's um, the photo sleeves on one side and the signatures on the other. So it's gonna be our friend's first trip going, and we mm -hmm. thought this was a nice little thing for them to take with them. I already have it going first thing, so they can meet some characters. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, like she said, has the Walt Disney World pen included, which is nice. Um, but normally, $17.99. I don't know what it was at the Character Warehouse, but less, so we got a good deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice one. It's got lots of the attractions here on the front. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, and those post-its, um, I don't remember. They're regularly $12.99, and we yep. got them for $3.99. $3.99 each. Right. 
All right, the next thing are some postcards. Do you remember the name of this store? Um, I don't, but before we get to these postcards, we did get some postcards at Character Warehouse. Oh, yeah. Those have already been written and sent in the mail, but postcards at Character Warehouse very similar to what you'll see in the store, if not the same thing. They are the same thing. But they're 50 cents a character warehouse, so that's where you should get them. Yes, absolutely. So we picked a couple of those and mailed them out to friends. Yeah. We thought and those are just the generic Disney World postcards. Yeah. Uh, but then we got these at the, I don't know, Disney Springs store that sells the, the art and the postcards. I don't remember And these are Wonder, maybe it's called the Wonderground Gallery, that right. specific section. But these are Wonderground Gallery and a couple of postcards. This first one is a scene from Tangled. There's a little reflection because it is in plastic, but you get the idea. Right. So we actually got some of these last time that we went and we have them framed on our wall and I actually have one at my office at work. Um, they're pretty. They're $4.99 each, so it's a little bit pricier and I don't think I'd spend $5 on a card that I'm sending away in the mail, but to frame these pieces of art I thought were really cool. You can actually get these, um, like the stylized art prints in larger sizes, but mm -hmm. I like the Yeah, you can get them size. on canvas and yeah. different, different styles. So yeah, so we started with Tangled and then that last one was Hercules and then this one right now is just um, a cute couple scene in front of the castle. So the next thing that we got are just a few wearable items, not too many. Um, Disney merchandise for wearable items, shirts and such, typically are around $34.99 for a t-shirt. Uh, sweatshirts can start at $45, $65 if you get spirit jerseys, like they're expensive, it's an investment. Um, but they had some good t-shirts, I thought, on sale. Mm -hmm. um, these are $24.99 regularly, I believe. Yep, and then if you bought two, they went down to $22 each. So Andrew and I each got one. Yep, so this is mine. It's just the generic uh, gray Disney World t-shirt. Yep. I don't know, I like to keep it simple. And then I was between a couple, but again, just a nice simple design. This is what I went with. Mm -hmm. there. Okay. So we'll get those washed so we can start wearing them soon. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next thing that we got are um, some candies and just uh, some sweets that- Snacks. Snacks, yeah, that's fair, because not yeah. everything was candy. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of my money tends to go to food that I won't be able to get at home. Sure. So um, the first one we actually finished, we went to the Ganachery. Mm -hmm. um, it just came in a really cool box. <laughs> It sounds so stupid, but these were pricey, which is why I've never been there before. It just came in a nice box, so I kept that. I thought maybe I could store something in it. These nope. were really pricey. It was really good chocolate, but I don't know if it was worth quite as much as what we spent. Um, these are $3 each for the little um, chocolate pieces. They were handmade and handcrafted and all very good. If you got six, one was free. Um, I liked them a lot. I would 100% eat it again. I don't know if that is something that I'm going to have to do as a must-do Disney kind of thing, but it was good. Yeah, we have some more footage on that as part of the all the trip videos, so eventually you'll see the actual consumption. All right. All Plus. right. So the next thing, um, if you go to the Japan Pavilion, they have a ton of candy there, um, a lot of snacks. Um, eventually, I hope to try more of it, but so Pocky is a big thing. I actually have a friend, this is for a friend of ours. So the first thing is some Pocky. This is like a cookies and cream flavor. This is for a friend of ours who's kind of into it, likes all the specialty flavors. They have probably 10, would you say? flavors of Pocky. They have a lot. Somewhere I heard that there are 43 flavors of Pocky out in the world, just worldwide. Um, I think that's crazy. Yep. I think 
they're good, but not my favorite thing. But I thought if my friend would like this, so we picked that up for her. Yeah, you'll see this a lot, uh, obviously, in the in the Japan pavilion. We have it at some of our local grocery stores and like the Japanese section. It's funny that on the back it says product of Thailand, um, but you know, that's okay. Well, there's not a Thai pavilion, <laughs> so maybe they're just trying to help represent. Uh, the other thing we got in the Japanese pavilion. So the other thing here is this uh, gummy candy. They had a ton of flavors of this. Uh, this one is lychee. This is a flavor of fruit. I've never had this particular fruit before. Um, but when we were talking to one of the cast members from Japan, she said she really liked that. She had suggested a hard candy to us in this flavor. Mm -hmm. um, but we already got a different hard candy that she had recommended, so we thought we'd try this flavor in gummy yep. instead. And this one does say product of Japan on the back. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a kind of a pro tip. When you're in these pavilions, talk to the cast members because they know. Um, especially like when we're in the Japanese pavilion, we don't speak or read Japanese. So we'll just ask a cast member, hey, what is this? Or, hey, do you have any recommendations? And they'll walk you around and tell you a little bit about some of the products and that sort of thing. Right. Yep. And then the last candy that we got, we have already dug into. This was one of the recommendations by two of the cast members. This is a strawberry cream hard candy. They had a hard time explaining what it would kind of be like, but it it is a creamy hard candy. It's a strawberry flavor. Um, we've had a couple now. They're pretty good, but these are some of their favorites, so we have yep. to try that. Yeah, a couple of the cast members said these were their, their favorite product of Japan on the back as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we've tried them. They're pretty good. Um, I guess here in the US, if you've had the little hard candies that come in the wrapper that looks like a little strawberry, it's it's a little bit similar to that, not quite as strong, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, they're good. Yeah, they were good. Um, so these were $2.49, the gummies were $2.99, and the Pocky was $3.99, just for reference. All right, the next thing we finished. This... We, we had a Goofy's. Um, this is the Mickey Jelly Candies. So these are the non-sour ones. They're just like jelly, they're kind of like uh, like gumdrops, if you will. Yeah. Um, this is what I like. I prefer these to the the sour, more squishy gummy bear consistency. Which is what which is I what got. Those are. Yeah. And uh, these Goofy's Candy Company, um, these are just about everywhere. You can get mm -hmm. these candies everywhere. Some of these, though, came from Goofy's. Like, there is a Goofy's Candy Company in downtown, or sorry, Disney Springs. Um, but you can get all sorts of these flavors all over. They're in resorts, yep. they're at every confectionery, but they're good. I was looking for the cinnamon, like, hot tamale type Goofy Candy Co. I never did find them. There was a Kylo Ren edition. Not the same. I wanted Goofy's. I guess they don't have them anymore. All right. The next thing, I'm gonna let you talk about that. Oh yeah. This is the Chippendale Snack Company Crunchy Spicy Mix. We had a variety of sweet treats there in the room, but we didn't have any you know, crunchy, salty type stuff. And so I picked this up. We'd never had this before, and it is very, very good. As you can see, it's almost empty. Um, would not hesitate to get this again. So if you need salty, crunchy in the room as well, I recommend this guy. Yeah, it was good. And then the last one is also meant to be a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are just the uh, Mickey shaped pretzels dipped in chocolate. Everybody Which is likes these. about the only way I'm gonna eat a pretzel is if it's dipped in chocolate. All right, the last thing that we got are pens. Mm -hmm. But some of these I thought were just too cute to pass up. Yep. And they're there all the time because they're open edition, but we really liked yep. them. All right, the very first thing, showing off some Pluto. So this first one is Pluto. I love Pluto. And this one with him and his bone, he just looks so happy. He's in his little dog house. This is just one that I had a hard time passing up. Seems like a really good quality and it's got two pin backings. 
All right, the next one, this one is all about Andrew, we've got Tailspin. I only saw a couple of episodes when I was a kid, but Andrew was definitely into Tailspin. Yeah, I was a big Tailspin day. fan. Tailspin and Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Yeah. That was my jam. So we got Blue and I don't even know, who's this character? That's the kid. Blue and the kid. All right, the next one is a Chippendale. So they're just being mischievous. I don't know, they're stealing somebody's tape there. Anybody actually knows what a tape is anymore. Poor Donald. Yeah. I picked up this one probably three or four times and then just said, you should just get it, you keep picking it up. It is cute. So and Chip and Dale pick on Donald and Pluto all the time, and it was Donald's mixtape, but it is cute. All right, this next one. Look at that face. And <laughs> Dumbo, and he just looks so happy and perfect. Just soaring through the air. Open edition and perfect. I love it. I thought this was a good Dumbo pen. It is a good Dumbo pen. I have several, but most of mine are from Box Lunch. So, not that there's a problem with that, but it's a nice little addition. And this last open edition pen we've got here, show off. So this was probably our, what, third time staying at Port Orleans French Quarter, and we love it there. It's one of our favorite resorts, and we don't have any pens to represent it. They had a couple that we thought were nice, but I liked this one specifically. You've got Mickey and Minnie just having a ball. Yep, they're all dressed up. It says Port Orleans French Quarter on it. Yeah. So that's specifically where we say, uh, where we stay. And what I liked about this one, so they had one with Chip and Dale, which was kind of cute. Um, I had popcorn, I believe. They were eating popcorn. And then they also had one that, that had- a, That was a 2019 pin. Was that a 2019 pin? Mm -hmm. Okay, but then they had um, specific 2019 French Quarter pins, but because we've been there multiple times and we'll probably stay again, I didn't want to have a date on it. Mm -hmm. So I liked that one. And then next, um, we got one bag. So there are five pins in the bag. Um, we're gonna do an unbagging slash unboxing later. Mm -hmm. um, they had two styles of this particular type of collectible. There was like this one, which is more about like friendships, just buddies. And then there's another one that were more about couples. I liked both, but this one I liked a little bit better. Um, so each of these open edition pins that we got, they're all silver. Silver is $9.99. And then this bag of pins is $27.99, but you get five in there. And then we got two boxes, and the boxes are each $14.99, and there's two pins in each of these. So there's a Disney Hugs edition, and then there's a 2019 box edition. Yep. And so for these mystery boxes and bags, um, I have to like the majority of them in order to really want to purchase and invest in those. Um, and both of these, I thought any of these would be really cute. Yeah. It wasn't like... I'm pretty sure I bought these. So. You you did. I, I didn't pick these up because I like to know what I have. But this this these were fun. Um, but a lot of them are like, I don't know, ice cream shapes. And it was like... Or the I roller don't... skates. And yeah. Some um, of just the weird, more abstract ones. Yeah. I like seeing my characters, which is why I like the open edition pins. I like seeing the characters that I yep. like. Yep. But we'll do an unboxing for these at another yep. time. Sorry, you got to wait for the pin unboxing. Yeah. I don't see if we got anything really good. All right. So is that the haul? That's the haul. That was everything that we got. Okay. So that's all the merch. Uh, stay tuned for some vlogs from the actual trip. I got a whole lot of footage. There's like 60 gigs to go through. Um, so it's going to take a while, but uh, we'll put together some videos that just kind of show some of the different things that we did and some of the food that we had. Enough to show a little bit of our trip and document it. And, yeah. yeah. So tell us, what are your must-have Disney merchandise items? What are the things that you get every time? Usually we walk away with some kind of stuffed animal, and this is our first trip without one. So what are your must-haves? Thank you.
All right. Take care. Bye.